So here we are. It's either a set of drumsticks or really, really large trap sticks. I'm not really sure which. Um, we're going to play pretend a little bit. Um, not everybody is going to carry a set of drumsticks around with them. But by the same token, the bad guy is not going to know whether you actually play drums or just like to carry sticks around. Um, so a lot of the same things apply. Um, it's stronger if you put both of them together. Grip it so that there's at least an inch to two inches below the fist so that you have some hooking. Um, that'll come in a little bit later, but also it's for hammering as well. Most of the targets that we used in the in the Umbrellas um, series is are going to be the same targets that you're going to be using here. So again, you're going to be striking here, 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 right? coming down on the collarbones, ribs, right? You can also hit with these, you can hit more specifically, you can target uh, more uh, muscle groups. This is really sharp, and if it's hit with any degree of force, especially if you hit the nerve merid meridians, it's going to light them up a little bit, and the person's just going to flinch anyway. And again, you've got your thrusting here. This is nasty. Um, you might have a potential lawsuit here, right? But again, groin, solar plexus, you can come down as well. I mean, this looks a little bit like Filipino stick fighting, which is kind of what it's intended to. You can use them singly as well, like, like an actual set of drumsticks. But that becomes, I mean, there's a lot more practice and training involved in that. But again, so if you're, if you're thinking about using, and you're using this motion again, so you can either hit long or you can hit short, right? So if you want to just kind of swing them again and just kind of visualize what you're targeting, ribs come back this way so you're going to come back and hit the ribs on the opposite side good boom there we go you can even hit just like muscle groups right perfect you can come into the side here you can come into the temple and you can do the, you're going to be doing the same on, on this side right good you can do the cutting motion here and these things will sting too if they hit like just soft tissue that's going to sting like shit and again, you've got your thrusting as well, where you're going for groin, you're going for solar plexus, come up under the chin. This is this is if you're in really, really, this is, this is really up close and personal. If you're here, if you're close enough to do this, you're in trouble, and it's probably going to count anyway. Yeah, like you're, you would have to be in a very bad spot to resort to that. So again, most of this stuff is going to be what the, the same sort of techniques that we've used with the umbrella. Now, this little point, as we get more advanced, then you're starting to be able to hook, do things where you're, you're able to hook around. But that's, again, that's a lesson for another day as we get a little bit more advanced. Um, because we're not trying to train anybody to really hurt somebody. We're trying to train somebody to protect themselves. Uh, as opposed to being offensive, this is all still defensive. Okay?